Hello, it's Jason Payne, Cold Banker, Dean Hopper Ocharts. Well, once again, I find myself in the beautiful community of Esperanza in the beautiful Texas Hill Country town of Bernie, Texas. The reason I'm out here is because the community is expanding. The Bravada subdivision section of the community has opened up. They've got some beautiful new model homes with some great builders and lots available to be purchased and built on. I want to go on a quick driving tour to kind of showcase what's going on in this community. So yeah, let's go check it out. All right, this section, uh, right down here, you will see all the new model home to include Monticello, Highland Homes, Chessmar Homes, Perry Homes, and Scott Felder Homes. Um, I like all all these builders. One of them I don't like so much, but I'm not gonna put that on the internet. You have to call me to find out which one I'm not a big fan of. But look at the views of this. This is all part of the community. As you come into Esperanza, this is the main drive coming in. You're just gonna have to keep going past the school, past this dog park here, which it just opened up this past year. Absolutely gorgeous. And this uh, section over here is we're gonna have the clubhouse with the big amenity center, the lazy river, volleyball court, and a kid volleyball court, and a pickleball court. So a lot going on. Uh, the section across the street here is a 55 and up community being built by Toll Brothers. So yes, Toll Brothers is back in the greater San Antonio area and the Texas Hill Country. But uh, right now I wanna focus on this side with all these uh, top tier production home builders that I really like and trust. And I wanna go show off a few lots and what's going on in the communities. Um, and some of these builders that have lots available so i'm excited for this new community and what's going on they have already started building out here i've done a few model home tours of a couple of these homes already and uh, i just want to go a little drive around give you an idea of what this community is looking like at the end of december 2022 so let's go hop in the truck and go for a ride Oh, it is a beautiful day in Texas. Um, we just got over our recent cold front. Uh, I'll tell you people all the time, we don't have real winters in Texas. We have cold fronts. <coughs> and we had a doozy of a cold front today. It mean this past week uh, where it got quite chilly. But that's over with and we're back to 65 degree weather and gorgeous. The houses you see here are being built by chess bar. because I had just had somebody reach out to me and might be interested in one of these houses. So this video is too old. I want to give these guys information as well about what's going on in the community and share with everybody else what's going on. So yeah, let me pull over real quick and show some of these lots that um, the people I was just on the phone with might be interested in. This, these lots are being controlled by Chessmar. All right, the house you're seeing right here, that is a Brandon plan that is being built. It's already been purchased, but this beautiful lot, they plan to build a Brody on it. Now, the Brody plan is a lot like the Brandon plan, which I've done a couple of video tours of Brandon before. However, it's got an upstairs loft on it, so uh, it's gonna classified as a one and a half story. They are building that as an inventory home on this location and with the incentives that they have offering as of late december 2022 you're looking at uh right about 600,000 to be able to move in this home things i like about this lot is the sun is going to be setting kind of off this direction on the front of the house and there's actually gonna be nobody behind you there is going to be a road but it's not gonna be a heavily trafficked road. Hope I said that right. Um, this road here will go up and end in a cul-de-sac. And there will be another road kind of spurring off to the right and going off into the future developments. But we're kind of at the back corner of this development now. So the only traffic would be people kind of going up here, making left, but there's gonna be other means of getting in so i if you're worried about road noise you're hearing some of it with construction workers but there's not a lot of it uh but you're gonna have a privacy fence set up 
back here and uh yeah what you're seeing here is going to be the future road but you're going to have some nice good sized backyards some beautiful oak trees already in the backyard <clears throat> i can't guarantee all these oak trees will still be here but you can get an idea of kind of what this uh looking at the post up in front of me that this is going to be uh kind of your backyard where i'm standing at here and i'll kind of mirror what the back is there so not a huge backyard but plenty of space but it will be filled with a lot of oak trees okay yeah there's the yard markers right there <clears throat> so all right let's continue the tour oh uh right next to this house is a McKenzie plan being built and it's still available um, they just started building the McKenzie here and uh, make sure I get these right uh, or maybe I'm standing on McKenzie and that's a Brandon that's under construction <clears throat> so my clients had shown in well not my actual clients people who called me uh, thinking about using me uh, they were interested in either Brandon or the Brody both of them are being built right here and at this stage of construction uh, you can make changes when I mentioned the 600 grand that's already with all the upgrades that they put into it and the rebates they have but you have the opportunity to change those upgrades if you so desire uh, all right let's head on the truck and uh, drive around a little bit more and look at a few more lots all right i'm not going to drive the whole community but i do want to give you a feel of what this community is looking like like i said there there's so much going on in this community uh we are literally an eight minute drive from the front of this community to the historical downtown Forgive me if my camera works not so great. I wanted to do this tour on a motorcycle, but I also had a closing this morning and I was picking up my yard signs. And this community is a little bit of a drive, so I try to kill two birds with one stone when I'm out here. All these lots you see here are for chess bar. So lots that are coming that are gonna be available for a while. And on the other side are these Scott Felder lots. So this also is going to be pretty much like the back part of the community. So not a lot of traffic. Be back there. So and lots and lots still available. I really like some of these other lots on this side for Monticello and Highland. Both of them I really like. It. Construction going on but I've walked some of these lots these are really good sized lot uh, I think Monticello and Highlands got some of the larger lots that are out here right now but uh, yeah a lot of activity going on uh, Bernie is a phenomenal school district uh, they've got two high schools in here that are really top rated Sorry about that noise, but you can see just tons of oak trees, lots of, uh, some of these houses have great views, some of them just okay views, but uh, yeah, we're going to come around and we're going to start seeing some Perry Homes lots as well. See, there's a house being built there by Monticello. Hopefully my really crappy camera work is uh, not so bad. All right, let's see if we can get past a little breezy out today but that's okay um right now perry is building on perry of course is one of my favorite builders they're building on uh i believe 50 and 55 foot lots but i heard they do have some 60 foot lots coming soon so more to come on that but uh these other builders have some larger lots it's gonna be a beautiful home there who's Highland building that one and Monticello so <clears throat> you can see a lot of these signs saying lots of lots are available and um, this community and it was selling fast during the what I call a frenzy but things have slowed down a little bit 
because of the interest rates and my thing is I'm hoping interest rates just get back to 5% and man this place is going to be kicking off again but we have I have seen uh, the market picking back up uh, especially I think it's going to pick up a lot more right after the new year all right we're coming back to the section just so I can give you an idea of those <coughs> um, but yeah so much going on um, if you're worried about hey how far out is this from the greater San Antonio area it's not bad um, you could just take I-10 straight into the La Quintera uh, I-10 1604 area where you have all the world-class shopping you can dream of um, just you're a little bit out here but you're not so far out that within uh, 25 minutes you can be in really great shopping all right here's some of the model homes highland i haven't done their video tour yet the chest the scott felder home <clears throat> and then the perry home coming up i have done a video tour of the perry home I haven't done one of the chest bar because it's a McKinsey plan and I've already done the McKinsey plan. Good gosh, I think I've done like five different tours of a McKinsey plan uh, for my client who's getting the Michelle plan built in New Braunfels. <clears throat> the Michelle plan is the same as the McKinsey. It's just different section. So they're calling it different. But yeah, these are Perry homes being built. Oh, man just look at some of these views out here it's just so nice but uh location wise it's really convenient to a lot of uh things and everybody who lives out in bernie really likes it um when people come from out of state to visit me and get a tour of the area it always comes down to a decision of bernie or new problems and uh, both of them have a uh, a lot of stuff going for them um, and uh, some people like Bernie better some people like New Braunfels all right I'm rambling so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this section up I just wanted to give a quick look I have done an amenities tour of this community and I've done two of them actually one of them I had my daughter helping out with uh, showing off the dog park section um, because that dog park is impressive <clears throat> so they do have community events going on um, I've done a video tour of one of their community events where they were uh, had bands out and food trucks and a whole bunch of stuff very kid friendly and adult friendly and uh, now they have a 55 and up community being built so that's really cool too so that's a little bit of a insight of what's going on right now in the beautiful community of Esperanza. I hope you found this video interesting and maybe a little bit helpful. <clears throat> if you did, definitely want you to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends. I'm super excited to see this community grow and uh, hopefully in the next year or so, um, the same developers who did Esperanza is going to be launching George's Ranch, which is a little bit further up 46. And uh, they're going to have more one acre lots available. These are all going to be more like the quarter acre lots. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to wrap it up and feel free to reach out to me if you got any questions. And remember, even if you aren't actively driving around and uh, these videos are bringing are the reason you came to Esperanza it's okay to let them know that you saw my videos uh, you saw Jason Payne's videos and let the sales reps know they don't lower the price at all if you're not using a realtor so uh, yeah don't go through this process alone all right talk to you soon now take care bye